So, we've covered the radium rifle, the harpoon gun, the fish hook, and the pole hook. So, what opens up to Far Harbor? Well, I'd say I try to save the best for last. At least, I believe it would be the best. I don't know, that pole hook was a pretty amazing. Kind of a sleeper hitch, for my opinion. But, what else is there? Well, there's one. And it's a returning gun, too. From Fall 3, or even, well, many variants of Fall of New Vegas. I, of course, mean lever action rifle. But I'm making a return, though. Which is nice. I love these guns. I love lever actions. Stat-wise, it's okay. However, it's a bit of a downside. It's the only gun to take the new ammo, the 4570 government ammo. Fire rate's not that great, and range is okay. Accuracy's also okay, and weight's a little on the hefty side in terms of weight, but that's okay. It's a gun, after all. But, in terms of, uh, this is a returning gun from Point Lookout for Fall 3. As it had a lever action gun as well, but it took, I think, 9mm back then, or not 9mm, but some round. So, take it down to the range, and it's okay from the hip. It's okay. The loading cycle's a bit long, and it cannot be interrupted. That's a problem. Even if you have only one, bot one bullet shot, it'll still reload all five bullets. It won't waste any ammo, but still, I have to do the whole animation. I don't really like that idea. I don't know why I just didn't take the animation from New Vegas. They only loaded one bullet at a time. Okay, before we talk about numbers, keep in mind that my rifleman perk is maxed out to so see the full damage value of this weapon. So, we got all our usual options. Now, instead of a long barrel, I'm going to go opt for a short one. Reason being, because the hip, the hip fire accuracy was pretty poor. As much as I was talking about the accuracy, I actually missed half the shots from the hip. Even from close range and long range. And I do love firing from the hip a lot. So we'll take a short ported barrel. Even though the long one, even though we should get more ammo for having a longer barrel, that's how lever actions work. A lot of ammo is stored in the under barrel. But you only have five shots either way. Stock? Well, we almost take the marks in stock. It's like, why not? It adds like almost no weight. Though, of course, you don't ha have to, but I'm still gonna take it anyway. It looks awesome. This time, I'm opting for a short scope. This weapon can be used at a decent range. The muzzle, uh, and then compressor. We don't need a compressor. This is a semi on a gun. Suppressor, not gonna use, because it reduces range. So, no misc mod. And, of course, you'll just want to take the bottom of one, the advanced receiver for most damage. So, the reaction rifle. Kind of forget which ammo it took in Fallout 3, but they, in New Vegas, they took many different ammo types. But, the most powerful version was a 4570. And if here it is in Fall 4. It doesn't do just as good of a job. From the hip fire, we can see it's dramatically improved. Every shot's hitting this time. But still, the animation of reloading has to be done. So, the recoil is a bit heavy on the old one. And we're hitting every shot again. There we go. Shorter barrel is better, in my opinion. Shoes, a little bit of range, but it's not a big deal. Still, the scope works just fine. Not this range. If you're firing at someone with longer ranges than this, then grab a sniper rifle. So, how well is it done in the field? Well, it's a lever action rifle. Now, I noticed that they took a huge chunk of health out of the enemies. I have to hit the head, specifically. I noticed something strange this weapon. Every time you get a headshot, you almost do triple damage. Most, other ones, most weapons just do 1.5 to double damage. Lever action rifle is triple. Which is strange. Because uh, if it wasn't for that headshot triple damage, I would never, wouldn't recommend this weapon because it's weak. Yep. Weak. Now, for some reason, I, sometimes that headshot damage happens, sometimes it doesn't. This guy clearly didn't take any headshot damage when I hit him in the head. I Maybe mean, it's a hard hat. But it's doubtful. I doubt a hard hat stopping the bullets, these bullets from hitting his head. <laughs> <laughs> but 
But yes, the animation cycle is pretty brutal. And it didn't, and you can see it pretty much took out the Suicider almost. But then again, Suicider is pretty weak. And same thing goes for most of these other guys. But as it's the one big downfall is that reloading cycle. It's long and you have to do it a lot. With that, you're constantly just reloading though. So you always gotta be fighting behind cover. Or fight a bunch of weak enemies. Or floats your boat. But I find the gun to be excellent nonetheless. Most of the enemies drop you when they one hit, and when they don't drop one hit, you do plenty of damage. Providing not the strongest enemies in the game, anyway. In terms of super mutants, the majority of them pretty much got s slaughtered by it. One of the more powerful ones, like the Butcher, didn't really affect them much. Didn't find any primes, though. Or warlords. So decided to try against the Marler Queen. It was already a bad idea. Ballistic weapons almost never work. And to be honest, it's not going to work here either. Mother Queen's had to usually use chemical weapons, or really heavy ballistic weapons, or explosives. But in this case, it didn't really work. Against the Kill Claw, they did already damage, providing I hit the skin and not the shell. But unfortunately, that was not the case, and my robot didn't last particularly too long in that hell of a battle there. Against soft shells, it does plenty of damage, but they're weak. By the Queen itself, now you saw I got a headshot, and it did a lot more damage, triple damage. So that's why I pretty much ready to aim there. But, at point blank, and things wave in order, you just said and done. So again, since, they're weak in the ballistics, and this weapon works just fine against them. Providing you hit their, their small fucking flail bodies. Little annoying cunts, aren't they? But yes. But in terms of, uh, since they're very weak to ballistic damage, and very resistant to energy damage. You can see my robot barely hurts it, but yet I took out a majority of its health with one shot. They stand no chance against this weapon. Moving on from that, I figured, why not go to the deep end and go right to Deathclaw? I'm skipping the power armor because power armor is resistant to ballistic damage altogether. Headshot won't matter. Now I wasn't doing that great of damage against Deathclaw, but you can see when I hit the head, again, a lot more damage. It's crucial that you get hit headshots this thing. Now before I walked away, I found another Deathclaw, where it found me to be more specific. But yes, pretty far weapon otherwise. Ooh, let's see that again. Very powerful weapon. Head goes flying right off. <laughs> now, before I cop out on you guys, I did find an alpha. And again, those headshots. Even with even an alpha can't stand a chance if it can hit its head. That's the important factor. Headshots all the way. Can't stress that enough with this weapon. Otherwise, it would be trash. Okay. Hope everyone here likes the new look. Leave a comment if you don't. But anyway, on the pro side, we've got a lot of damage. Headshot wise, is also quite accurate, and it's the other one of its kind, which is nice. It's finally the reaction's been reduced. The cons, you have to get headshot damage, other damage doesn't work. Has a very long reload cycle, well, annoyingly long, and the rate of fire is low since it's lever action. Okay. On the scoring of the weapon, I have a damage 8 out of 10, so the headshot is devastating. Accuracy, an 8 out of 10. As soon as I put the short barrel on, the accuracy just dramatically improved. The design, 5 out of 10. Based on the reloading cycle, is not that great. The Scalanius is 8 out of 10, you got a lot of nice little things you could choose, and the long and short barrel really changed the nature of the, game, the gun. Ammo, though, is 2 out of 10, for taking the 4570 government and an only weapon doing so. That's the major downside, because you will not find that weapon outside of Far or the ammo outside of Far Harbor. Almost never. That's the big downside. So in total, I give this weapon 31 out of 50. It's okay. <laughs> Actually, I'll call this one average. It's average. 
If it wasn't for the headshot damage and the reloading cycle, this weapon would be a lot better. So we had it. All the unique weapons of Far Harbor. They're legendary weapons, but I'm not sure if I'm going to cover those. All of them seem rather the same thing, just different effects. These weapons are powerful. And as much as the lever action is not perfect, I personally love lever actions. I'll be using it. <laughs> but I gotta buy a lot of ammo for it. But oh well. Hopefully the mods will be here soon. Hopefully sooner than the next add-on. DLC, whatever it's gonna be. And to be honest, I hope the next add-ons can be a bit cheaper with more weapons. And I didn't find this add-on to be my favorite. Tomatron still takes that fault cake, but oh well. This has been Showcase for today. I thank you for watching, and see you next time. Take care.